with Cam, I guess, just kind of looking back at this season, we've obviously talked about just your growth and just your personal um, accolades in a way. But when you look back on this season, what stands out to you the most about just where this team was and where it can go next year? Yeah, um, I feel like we was in a good spot this year. Uh, we started off good. I mean, we lost some tough close games, all one possession games early, but then we found our stride, got some wins. And then you know, I think we just hit that wall. Um, as a team, we couldn't really recover from it. It was tough. But I mean, we always we always show flashes of the kind of team we can be, you know, getting up and down, guarding, making threes, you know, just making shots as a team. So I feel like, you know, we can just take that to another level next year. But it's in the same sense, we got to be more consistent as a team, you know, not, you know, not really wavering from game to game, not knowing what we're going to get. We just got to stay consistent each game, you know, whether shots are falling or not. So I'll probably say we just got to stay more consistent as a team. So that's it. And just curious, how much do you think that December game against the Bucks? that seemed like that was kind of maybe one of several turning points, but how much do you think that game where, you know, some guys sat, you and Mikhail, I think I pulled the first quarter, how much do you think that game, was that game feel like a turning point where things kind of turned around, turned for the worst a little bit, you think? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like everybody has their different, like, views of when the season, you know, I'll just say spiraling downhill. I don't know. I mean, obviously, everybody wants to play every game, play every minute, you know, that we're healthy enough to play in. But I don't really know. That's a real turning point of the season. For me personally, I don't know. But obviously, it was it was tough, that game. But everybody has their different views on how the season went. So I don't really have an answer for you for that. What's your view on when the season started, as you would say, spiraling? And in your mind, what was – the biggest factor in your guys' middle portion of the season not being able to respond to other teams' big runs? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, there's so many games that you could point to. Um, obviously, we're losing to some teams that were, you know, worse than us, uh, like Charlotte. And knows we can't lose the bottom, you know, three teams in our conference, so. I mean, you could say some of those games, the turning point, some games we got to have and we didn't we didn't get them. But, I mean, I don't know. Everybody has different views. Like I said, different views of how the season went or how the season went downhill. So I can't really I can't really say because everybody's different. So I have a different opinion. But that's it, really. I don't really have a comment on when the season went downhill. But, like you said, when teams go on runs, we can't really start, you know, trying to change everything immediately because, I mean, it's the NBA. Everybody's going to go on runs. We go on runs, but we just got to stick to the game plan. And not really – I say panic, not really panic when teams go on their, you know, barrages uh, of their threes. We just got to calm down, get, calm down, coming down, get in our sets, and just execute the best way we can. Make or miss, just execute, get good possessions, and we just got to live with the result. Hey, Cam. Um, just with your success and your in your role this season and, and the adjustments you saw from defenses over the course of the season, what do you want to build on uh, heading into your summer work for next season? Yeah, um, just knowing that I, it's, I could be, you know, doubled a lot more. So especially coming off the screens and stuff or even in the one-on-one situations when I have the matchup I like. So really just reading where the double will come from, reading, just seeing where teams doubled me, seeing, you know, like the kind of teams that doubled me, the way they doubled. So really just reading, just looking at the film and seeing where I can make the reads at quicker, make quicker reads because obviously this year I was just kind of doing on the fly. Obviously me and me and Jay, uh, one of the coaches, like, was going over it. But at the same time, you know, I never went through that. So everything was kind of like new and kind of like learned on the fly. So obviously I'm just looking at that and just keep going over it and, you know, find quicker solutions to, to beat the double. So, yeah. Um, no, not really. I always, always believe in myself and know the kind of player I am. And I just want to, you know, keep working. But no, I never really had doubts about not playing because I always believe in myself and believe in my ability the best way I can. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, the timing, the timing thing. So no, I never really had doubts about, you know, ever happening here. I mean, I love it here. Um, you know, I got drafted here, so I always have a place for it. But no, I never really had 
doubts about not playing here for sure. Cam, given like your scoring, I think went up at least like 10 points or so this year. When when you look at the most improved player of the year conversation, I'm curious, um, where do you think that you should fit in that conversation um, given some of the guys in the league and, and to your growth this year as a player with the Nets? Yeah, um, obviously with that, um, I should definitely be top three, I feel like. I mean, going from, you know, barely playing the rotation, you know, just having little spurts, little spurts of the season to going all the way up to averaging, you know, like you said, 11 point, like 11 point jump to like 22 a game. I mean, that's, I mean, any other year that goes like, that goes noticed. But this year it's kind of gone on notice. I don't know it's because like our record or something, but. Obviously, I feel like when you have a jump like that in all aspects, even just watching the games, you see how I'm guarded and see how all the other stuff to it. I feel like I should definitely at least be in the top three in that conversation. But at the same time, winning, I'd probably say winning does help a lot of things. So, you know, I don't really have a comment on that other than we probably didn't win as enough, enough games. But obviously, you're just looking at the what the award says and, like, it's a player award in a way. So... I feel like I should definitely at least be in the top three in that combo, but I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Just to kind of build off that question, do you feel like the reaction to your game, to your growth, do you feel like it's been normal, fair compared to the other players that you see around the league, or maybe just because it's Brooklyn or the way you play or anything like that, that the spotlight, the reaction has been a little different to your game? Yeah, it's probably just, you know, I always, I always gone through that stuff. It's always been you know, going unnoticed when I, because I mean, whenever I do something like, like this, have a big, big season, big leap, it goes a little under the radar, unnoticed. Instead of like, if other players do it, it's all like, it's, you talk, it's talked about a lot. So, obviously, I'm, I'm kind of used to it in a way. I don't really care, really. But obviously, I was just, I'm just going out there to play, play for my guys, play for the organization, just be the best player I can be. But, I mean, at, at some point, I, I really stopped caring about the awards. Ever since I got snuffed in the McDonald's game, I really just stopped caring about awards. So I just want to go out there and be the best version of myself and play the best version of myself. So I don't really care about the awards.